Wow, the Dusty Kangs are added again. You cannot make this stuff up. Check it out for fair use. The Sophie Gumbel Guild, now known as Strive Incorporated on Napoleon Avenue, has a 60 year history in New Orleans. The center offers opportunities for adults with intellectual and developmental challenges. These are clients who can speak for themselves, so that's what we're here for to help give them a program, to give them a quality of life. Will be closed. Wednesday, clients were given the bad news that Strive is shutting down indefinitely. When we got here over the weekend for on Monday, we noticed that the temperature of the air conditioning was just non-existent. Scott Acosta with Golf South Mechanical came out to investigate. Well, in the process of me checking the electrical, I went to grab my gauges and came back down, and I realized half of the copper was missing. Over the weekend, criminals climbed on the roof and stole copper coils from Strive's six air conditioning units. They got about 115 feet of copper, uh, 5 eighths and 7 eighths copper. So maybe, maybe 100 bucks, 150 bucks, as a, and they caused tens of thousands of damage. The center tried to make do with large fans and window units, but state inspectors mm. said it was still too hot inside for clients and staff. Strive Executive Director Denise Washington admits they have to raise the money to fix the air conditioning. And I'm still crying behind it because my clients, they look forward to coming here. They, this is the only thing they get to do after the pandemic to see their friends and to do different things here. Strive still doesn't know if the copper theft also damaged the air conditioner condensers. If that's the case, they could be looking at an additional tens of thousands of dollars in repairs. Look at the faces of these people and tell me that it was worth it. Just to say it was worth a hundred dollars. Dusty's. By the block. Bottom block. Self destruction. But bottom block now. We need some programs. It this group is too far gone. It is too far gone. One hundred dollars. Now it's tens of thousands of dollars. And if you know anything about property, trust and believe. Let's hope that's it. That, that can fix it. That's a very old building. You better hope and pray. They don't come with so oh you need some permits let's hope not and to bring it up to code one hundred dollars has cost tens of thousands of dollars and look at the people in there who are they hurting who are they hurting the seed of poverty ding tens of thousands of dollars also some nugget some dusty nugget head negro more than likely especially new orleans with the crime rate oh yeah i'm willing to say that's probably who it is and it could be a dusty dan but whoever it is a dusty i'm betting the tt you got a hundred dollars now do you see why it's hard to build in the bc now do you see why it's hard to build in the bc you can't even work from home in the bc they might start fighting and shooting, bullets flying, mothers crying, and you on a conference call. So and so, you okay? You on the Zoom call trying to duck and look professional? Man, you sure at the floor quick? Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just what we do around here. Just yeah, you know, making sure. I thought I dropped my pen. No, they heard them bullets in the black gun. Boom, 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 boom. You you can't. They're not trying to invest in us. They invested in those illegal immigrants more than black folks. No kidding. The seed of poverty D. Disappearing daddy and a 
low self-esteem foolish iod they get together and they release a tragedy on the community if it's like that now don't forget we already uh killing over uh shooting over some chicken over some mayo they showed a fool the price of the cigarettes were too expensive for him we and first of all you know you didn't have any money when you went up in there let's be real come on you, you know you was broke as a joke when you went up in there what did he do just start shooting it was a little it was a chocolate drop a grown old chocolate drop that kind of dusty so shooting over chicken and mayo because you don't have money for cigarettes what's going to happen when the real uh food shortage begins in blackistan one hundred dollars one hundred dollars so the people can go home might be in a little depression a little depression a lot of them are in dysfunctional homes as well so this might be the only positive outing to interact with people that they share a common bond with oh and me ma she might be on the payroll uh with it shut down if i will be getting paid might have some sick time how long is that gonna last vacation time so then she and the people working there they might be out of a job what if somebody's volunteering that's making them feel you know validated that they're doing something meaningful well that's over close down indefinitely what well, a state can help are you kidding me me and uh dawn recession inflation are you really serious tens of thousands of dollars uh new orleans saints how many of them black men you got on that team they sure not gonna help you because they want to try to run away from black as much as possible is what i think when i see a lot of these black men then if a hardworking black man does try to donate child he might get god he might be sitting up there L let a hardworking black man or any decent black man come along try to help but he, but by the time he can get it fixed in oh no nah, no nah, yo 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 man break yourself fool that's right i jack you he might end up getting jack jack too seriously this is a community and we want to turn a blind eye and some and some black women are still trying to hold on still died every 5.5 want to turn a blind eye and pretend that everything is all right i did if you don't uh i guess kevin samuels and someone watched it recently and he said something about uh, i guess made him look bad no the, the the community is doing this all on their own and it's mainly the men got some nuts theaters acting up too but it's mainly the men this is what happens when you refuse to build this is what happened when you're behind don't listen like i said you can't learn the trade there's no excuse for these dust bucket black men because let me tell you something when you are dusted a man is gonna show enough take care of you they can get access to transportation three hots and a cot you got folks on YouTube driving around to expensive neighborhoods and picking up stuff and selling it on flea markets and selling it online. That's what they are doing. What a dust bucket doing? Oh, he's driving around, but he a stealing and robbing. He's doing what he wants to do. And we want to holler. Well, this is a crime of opportunity. He doing what he wants to do and being a deadly thief behind Dusty. Maybe sometimes if we stop lying to ourselves, you might get to a darn solution. I want to do a video probably do it tomorrow this is going to probably piss a lot of people off and i'm going to tell you now i i don't care i don't i've been thinking about it i'm going to do it and i'm going to say it subscribership may go down and that's fine i'm going to say it just now and i got one pending um black woman in the situation here come the white man we need to go ahead and set up a plan for her we who's we yeah i told you what's going on i already see mammy biscuits i'm not setting up a plan for because i see mammy biscuits and she might get with said well they they told me i don't want to do that's what they said 
here's so and so address. He might try to roll through here. I'm not been playing with you. No, 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 no. We have a we. Oh, okay. No, I told you what's going on. She's stopping at my biscuits. I'm a little handle. You, you can, Mr. White Man. You can. We need to have a plan. A plan. I can already see. That's why I just listen. But I can already see Mammy Biscuits, and you're really not serious. You're just upset for the moment about Tyrone and your situation. But I can already see what they said. Not I've seen. I done seen that before. You're not serious? Girl, I'm not going to be wasting my resources. I'm not getting ready to do it. And he think he might try to pull up on me. I'm not fighting, my, fighting no man, but I'm going to let nine Mary Mary talk to you. How, how about that? I'm, I'm, that, that's how I'm not going to do, do hood, hood stuff, but I will protect myself. So, no, come up with a plan. She don't want the plan. How do I know? Because I already told a plan. Somebody else has. You, you're just coming on the tail end of it, and you're like, oh, my. We have to get a plan for her. Yeah, good, good luck with that. So, sometimes, if you, can, you acknowledge things for what they are, you can make better decisions. One hundred dollars. Now it's shut down and definitely because they already know they're not going to give them money. And here's the sad thing. The thieves might come back and steal it again. The depravity in the community is exponentially high. This is it's to the point of no return. It's embarrassing. Making black men look bad and all the dust buckets are doing it all themselves. I'm just glad there are a few that have spoken out and recognized, oh yeah, we got a problem. I'm glad for those few and I respect them. But but it's a few. Let's not get it twisted. I ain't no fitty fitty. It's a few. It might be 10 out of 20 million. So look at all this. $10. $10. I mean, $100. And now tens of thousands to fix it. And what if that system is not up to code and might be more money? Hopefully it will be. But that can happen when you're like rehabbing old houses. Oh, yeah. Uh, the electrical, yeah, that's not sufficient anymore. Got to be up to code. So, huh? More money. Now I understand why nobody is collectively investing in Pakistan. It's not worth it. And it's a sad day. And you can say I'm going to pray about it shut all day long. That's a, To me, that's a mammy line. The seed of poverty D. That's why the goop is at the bottom. It's going to stay there. It seems to love being there. It's a choice. The things that we do, how we react. It's a choice. These mammies putting these um, these IODs, incubators of destruction, putting these old ragged behind poverty D, uh, children here, not raising them. They're picking men as P uh, POD. Poverty D, that's what they like. And somebody know, well, boy, he shouldn't have done that, but you know, I, I got too much in my mind right now. I told y'all about all this. Oh, buy the block. Man, I already told you. Buy the block and you may get got. So what if you're trying to restore a property, restore a building, and look what happens. You can't even sit outside and in a refrigerator. A yeah, black man tried to heap out that house. What are going to do, refrigerator? Here come Tyrone. Here come a seed of poverty D. Diabolical and dangerous, deadly. And just shoots the man in the head and just kills him. What was that black man doing? Uh, he was obviously decent, and he's been in his refrigerator. You probably recognize that he wasn't a hood rat booger like you, or he probably recognized that that black man wasn't like his derelict disappearing daddy, and you're mad and angry at the world. So all they do is destroy. And for the women that want to keep on having these children, when the seed of poverty D, when those mammy biscuits um, uh, kind of run out, and then he turns on you like an animal. Guess what? We'll do a story about it. But no, no one's wasting any tears. Not wasting a breath on you. Why? That's what you chose. So look at her. She's just hoping it was worth it. When you're dealing 
with diabolical dusties expect the worst what's the worst can happen oh well the dusties is guaranteed to happen so yeah so this is why nobody can build in the bc this is why this is why your community is full of poverty murder mayhem and theft heartbreaking and the people still trying to stay up in there with fan and you know it gets hot are you crazy louisiana it gets hot i was there for a minute for a couple of months man it got so hot taking a shower twice a day changing your clothes that, that much sweat so yeah you got you can thank disappearing daddies and uh iod the incubators of destruction these are their children and this is why everybody that wants to have something, once they do, they run and lead a black community. Tell me, I stay. Why you run into the right neighborhood? Those folks do things too. You don't skip. But you know what? Most of them don't turn up their neighborhoods like that, their areas. that They do things too. Most of them try to keep theirs up. So now, and here's the worst thing really quick. So now that it's out that the, the building's not going to be occupied, then other little janky plumbers might come along and get the word out and just pull whatever else they can out. Next thing you know, somebody will break into the building and cause more damage. Next thing you know, the facility may be uh, damaged so that it may never open back up. All because some dust bucket had to steal some $100. Whole thing come crashing down. But they're going to tell you by the block. Honey, I wouldn't buy the block because you might get dropped by. Look, I would not buy the block. You might get got by a dangerous gun-toting chocolate drop. And I'm out.